my GI doctor did tell me that there is a possibility that I may have to do Stellara shots every four weeks. And that was really frustrating and kind of demoralizing because I was like, this ain't working for me. Janice, how was it stabbing me? It was entertaining. Why not? If you could stab your significant other, why wouldn't you? They want me to do a Prometheus test. What that test is, it's very specific to see the level of medication in my body. Guys, this is the life of somebody who deals with Crohn's disease. On the surface, it may seem like, oh, there's nothing wrong, you just get a tummy ache, but there's a lot that goes into it. Oh, it's debilitating for sure. They were kind enough they were. to squeeze me in. Ha, ah, look at that. Two highway patrols lurking for tickets. Oh, gosh. We're driving the speed limit, don't worry. Yeah, I, I, they're always here in the morning, so I, I knew that. Oh, he has a Challenger. Look at it. It's beautiful. Once again, Paul gets sidetracked with cars. Come on. How often do you see a cop in a Challenger? It's a two-door sports car. They always have the big truck. But how often do you see a Challenger on the road? Well, not plenty, but not, not as a highway oh patrol. God. I want to know what he did to get that. It's Whatever. fun. Anyway. anyway. They were kind enough to somewhat squeeze me in. I just have to go in, talk to the nurse practitioner, because I have an appointment with a doctor. But it's like three months out. Yeah, it actually is about three months out because I'm going to get another two Stellar injections before I even see the doctor again to follow up with him to let him know how it's going. Now, any of you cronies out there, from our experience with Paul and dealing with Crohn's and then him getting these types of medications, every time he got a treatment with Remicade, Humira, Stellara, he would have like a week later to go check in with the doctor to make sure everything's A-OK. -okay. So going like almost three shots without seeing a yeah. doctor is a little um, unique. Scary for us, this is something new to us, so. Yeah, because usually I would always check in at least after the first one and let him know, hey, this is what's going on, not gonna happen, and I'm gonna get another two before, and I'm getting one today. So imagine, three shots before I actually speak to the doctor. Hopefully it works. Yeah, that's all. If they think it's perfectly fine, you know, you gotta just trust your medical team. Yeah, pretty much. So, we have an appointment at 8 in the morning. We had to wake up at 6 in the morning. You know, we do have dogs. We gotta get our house in order. Because I am the type of person... Sorry. That before I leave the house, the house has to be in tip-top shape. Isn't that right, Paul? Yep. You guys have no idea how many times Paul has yelled at me, Let's go! And I was like, I gotta organize my pillows. <laughs> Yep. I can't help it. Don't get me wrong, I don't like leaving the house a mess, but if you're pressed for time and there's just some small little minute details that need to be organized, that can be organized when you come back, leave it for when you come back. All you spoonies out there will understand me, like going to a doctor's appointment or going out is so exhausting, so when, most of the time when I come home, I don't want to clean up or pick of up, course. so I want to get that done first and then like anxiety ridden messiness is like something that gets to me so I just can't. I just can't. So as I said before, today I am actually getting my Stellara shot. And the reason why we're going to the doctor's office is I just want to speak to the nurse practitioner, touch base with them, let them know what's going on. Even though I'm not talking to the doctor himself, you know, something is better than nothing just to have on record how I'm feeling, what's going on. And worst case, she can talk to the doctor and the doctor can adjust anything from there. Yeah. As well as I'm actually getting my shot. And since I had to go to the doctor's office, I was like, well, screw it. They can do it for me. Teach me 100% so I know I already have had a Stellara self-injection but that was a while ago and I do not remember 100% and Janice just feels very confident but I was like since we have to go anyways I want let's just go be 100% safe and then from there on out I'm doing it myself or uh, this one's gonna stab me she she likes stabbing I do and so far on Stellara I'm not gonna lie I have felt better because when I first started it late last year I'm not gonna lie, I did not feel any any difference whatsoever from having no treatment. Like, probably like 
20% better, but not to the point where I was like, wow, I feel good. But not at all. And that was really frustrating and kind of demoralizing because I was like, this ain't working for me. You know what I mean? And the doctors were like, it can happen where some people just take a very long time for it to really kick in. And I think that was the case because after I got my latest infusion of it, about a, like a week after, I started feeling better. Yeah. And I have definitely felt better. The sores in my mouth have all calmed down, pretty much gone like 90%. And I was like, wow, this is actually working now. Great. And right around the three, three and a half week mark after getting the infusion, I started having more sensitivity to food, more sores in my mouth. They're starting to come back a little bit. They're, they're fighting to come back. He was telling me the other day he had like a little blister, a water blister of some sort. As yeah. if he burnt the inside of his mouth and he had like, what do you call those, boils? I don't even know what you call I them. don't know. But like blisters, burnt yeah. blisters. And when he told me that my heart sank, I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, like and that makes me a little nervous because you know it wasn't I, painful at all it was just there and then I still see like the little dots and I have like a little gash on this side from like how bad the mouth sores got just these are the issues that I've had to deal with with my Crohn's disease that this is where it manifests and it hurts like hell and it sucks and it really affects his eating like the other day we went yeah, out we, we ate some like chicken and I remember he barely could chew it he barely could swallow it and uh, when these yeah. flares hit really hard he's pretty much on a liquid diet yeah pretty much like i literally will make like soup at home I'm, i'll call my mom and be like hey do you want to make me soup and she's like i got you so she'll literally make any but she'll make soup for like little containers for like four or five days and that's literally what i'm eating that and i'll dip like bread in it and like nice and soft but i can't have anything that will get like caught in it like rice, hard, crunchy stuff. It hurts like hell. I've seen them in agony, and it hurts me. To and see even it. even drinking hurts sometimes. Like cold, cold water. I'd have to drink like room temperature water. And if I have like tea with lemon, the lemon just instantly burns. Hurts like hell. So I have to kind of adjust everything that I drink, eat everything, and yeah, that, that sucks. My GI doctor did tell me that there is a possibility that I may have to do Stellara shots every four weeks. Yeah. FDA approved is every eight weeks. I am technically on a treatment that is not FDA approved because it's every six weeks. Now, he's like, this is not uncommon. I have a lot of patients who are on every six weeks and he's like, I have a lot of patients who are on every four weeks. So it kind of just depends on how I feel and how I react. Me personally, so far, I've noticed that I'm most likely going to have to get it done every four weeks just to be on the safe side. I have a few more injections before I see the doctor again, so time will actually tell. After this injection, I'm gonna have to keep track, make sure when I start feeling bad and stuff like that, and that'll kind of, my body will tell me when I need it. Guys, this is the life of somebody who deals with Crohn's disease. On the surface, it may seem like, oh, there's nothing wrong, you just get a tummy ache, but there's a lot that goes into it. Oh, it's debilitating for sure. Yeah, there's some moments that I look upon, I'm just like, how do you do it? Because I love food, and he struggles sometimes to eat. And I remember we did met a Spoonie, a Crohn's warrior out there, who had a feeding tube, and it's so weird, it just never hit me. Somebody with Crohn's disease could have one. I have, I've always heard of a colostomy bag, but never a feeding tube, because it just gets so rough for them. And those are the things we're always trying to avoid, we always watch out for, so. We're gonna go right now to the doctor's office, talk to them about several things. Maybe talking to them about making his dose a little bit more frequent, such as every four weeks. And let's see, but his office is very accommodating. Yeah, they are, thank you. Yeah, they know Crohn's disease is not something to play with, and you know, they could be on top of their stuff.
Welcome to the new digs. Thank you. <laughs> oh wow, it's bigger. Right? Ready? Ready? Come on. All right, so we are giving injections Under? and teaching, right? Yes. Okay, so you want to be comfortable giving it yourself or did you want to be comfortable giving it to him? I, I would enjoy stabbing. Yeah, okay, yeah. so you're going to be the stabber. All right, so first we're going to have you sign stating you're okay with us jabbing you. Sure. And have you been feeling on it? So after the infusion, mm -hmm. actually I started feeling better. Okay. Um, right around about like three, three and a half weeks, I started feeling more symptoms come back. Okay. He started getting a couple more sores in his mouth, and mm -hmm. then he complained of a sore that seemed like it was like a hot blister with like a weird boil. Yeah. Where was that? On the inside of my mouth. It was okay. Like a, it was like clear. All right. That's yeah. interesting. Do you have enough with a ma magic mouthwash? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I'll yeah. check. Okay. okay. After you guys leave, I'll check and I'll call you if I can get a medication level. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me know. I'll do that. So what I do, you bless the belly button. Okay. So you got the four quadrants, and you're just gonna kind of rotate her off so that he doesn't bruise. Okay. Yeah. And then you're just gonna kind of squeeze it. Okay. Oh, do it. Do it. I'm sorry. This isn't good. But <laughs> she's saying this is just your typical sub so cute. You just pull this off. It's not like the human. Mm. Lord, Sorry, I'm like over here. <laughs> okay. All right, so you're just gonna pop that top off. Just pull it off normally. Yep, right. there you go. You're gonna squeeze and look for the bevel to be, be up. Awkward. You see yeah. it? Okay. And you're just gonna squeeze. I'm just gonna go in until the okay. bezel or the bevel is um you can't see it anymore. Yeah. Okay. Straight down or at an angle. You can do it at an angle. Yeah, whatever, whatever works best for you. And then you're gonna inject. And when you feel like it's all done, you're gonna hold it for about 15 seconds after just to make sure all the medicine gets in. Are you okay? Yeah, okay. She doing a good job as a nurse? Yeah, she is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you couldn't say otherwise. Oh, that's what hurt more. Don't make me laugh. I'm sorry. <laughs> done. Oh, I did it. And then see how that goes back yeah. so it's mm -hmm. safe. And it puts this in a sharp container. You got it, yep. Okay, oh, if you're all done, no biggie. Yeah. She did wonderful. Oh, oh, no, this one good. was expecting in <gasps> August. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Congrats. Congrats. Oh, thank you guys for not noticing. First, no. Oh, congrats, guys. That's so exciting. Mm -hmm. Boy, girl. Girl. Yay. Yeah. I love it. Everybody's so excited for girl. So I wanted a boy. That would be me. I'd be like, that was me too. Boy, right? I was a boy. Like, Yay. <laughs> and there's a second baby. She, she, yeah. she, we, she was upset when we first found uh -huh. out. She was like, damn it. <laughs> that day, he had to get me sushi, pizza. Yeah. What else did you get me? Maybe uh, yeah, I got you. Oh my god. I remember that pregnancy menu. Oh, I love it. It's amazing. You may have to do it every four weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're every six? Six, six currently. Six, so probably oh, every four. So we gotta do yeah, a level just to see where you're at. Yeah. So I'll check into that and I'll call you guys, okay? Thank you very much. And we are done. Janice, how was it stabbing me? It was entertaining. It was nice. Paul was just like, oh my god, you're doing this. Because the last time we went in, they never showed me how to do it. This time, I got to do it, and they supervised, and they said I did perfection. When you have a pour for such a long time, you're just used to doing medical things. Perfection. No, I'm kidding. I still mess up. No, she actually did perfect. Like, the first time I got the self-injection with the Stellar, the nurse did it. And don't get me wrong, it... It, it's not pleasant ever getting stabbed, but I did feel pain a little bit because, you know, she just stuck the needle in and, you know, whatever. Like, it's it's not a big deal. It's one and done. But Janice did it. I didn't feel a thing. She did the injection perfectly. She did it nice and slow, sticking the medication in. And uh, I generally did not feel anything. It started making me laugh, and I was like, I don't want to laugh because I can start jumping around. I make people laugh and feel comfortable. You know, but again, it's a doctor's office. Please, oh, look at the puppy. It's a pit bull, but oh, cute. Look at him. Sorry, guys. He's a killer. Just, look at him. Oh, he's such a cutie. Wow. I want to pick him up and just... He is so it's, cute. it's a she. You can tell it's a she. Yeah, it is so damn cute. Not gonna lie. See how but, I stop for a dog? Paul over here stopped I for I like cars. dogs, too. but And cars and guns. Do not judge. Oh, my. But what's most important is I got my medication. I feel great. No issues, no complications. From here on out, Janice is just gonna stab me at home. She's excited to do that. I am, I really am. Why not? If you can stab your significant other, why wouldn't you? So this raises so many questions. So thankfully, everything is doing, going well. I feel perfectly fine. I don't have any issues. And we are here currently at First Watch, which is Janice's favorite place for breakfast. This is my favorite place. Let me show you guys, let me show you. There it is! What are those? 
Ooh, look at that. The daytime cafe. First watch, breakfast, brunch, and a lunch. So this is my favorite spot to eat for breakfast. Paul likes Kiki's, right? I like Kiki's because it sounds bad. They have like really good like lunch sandwiches. So like we're never here eating at 8 a.m. We're we always come at like 11, like a late lunch, a yeah. late breakfast, early lunch. Today we're here at nine, so yeah, today's definitely breakfast time. If it wasn't nine, I would definitely get a delicious pizza from Blaze. Oh my, I'm craving it, I'm not lying. And it's nine in the morning. Pregnancy. I'm gonna wait until the food's here so I can end this so you guys can see the deliciousness. I need to introduce this baby to the best Belgian waffles possible. Yes, they I'm have not gonna the lie. best. I'm not gonna lie, this place, the breakfast is Perfect, like it's really good. Better than I hop. And fresh squeezed orange juice, yes. which I can't have. Yeah, it's mainly mine. I, I want all yours. I want to drink it for the baby. So we have all the goodies here. Go ahead, pop, pop, pop. I have some <laughs> sourdough toast. I know, not a big deal. Uh, scrambled eggs, turkey sausage, as well as mm, Belgian the Belgian waffle. Guys, this is amazing. We're going to eat and grub and look at. For the pandemic, we have our own silverware just in case, our own plates, everything. Yeah, we fancy. All right, guys, I was stabbed today for science. Science? What are you, a lab right now? Eh, pretty much. But guys, I was able to get my solar shot very successfully. I'm happy that I got that done and over with. Um, I actually just got a phone call back from the office. They want me to do a Prometheus test. What that test is, it's very specific to see the level of medication in my body. Since I just got my shot today, the test results would be kind of skewed because I have a high dose of the medication in my body right now. So they told me I have to do it the day before I am due for my next injection, which is in six weeks. So they're gonna send me all the paperwork that I have to do. I have to go to a very specific place to get the, the blood drawn out, and I have to book it like weeks in advance because they do book up pretty quickly apparently. Yeah, they do. So, What's gonna happen is I have to schedule that in and get that in and that's gonna be the next step to see if I am at a therapeutic level of medication, if I have enough in it for the entire six weeks and then from there the doctor can make the decision of okay, let's bring you down or keep you at six weeks. Bring me down to four weeks or keep me at six weeks. So that is the next step in my Crohn's disease journey with Stellara, but I have high hopes. Janice is enjoying her Belgian waffles and her orange juice. Freshly squeezed, mm -hmm. oh yeah, the best for my baby. So guys, this is where we are going to end it. Please do not forget to check out the links in our description below. We have our baby registry down below. Guys, thank you so much for all the love. We have our little sushi's growing slowly but surely. She's a fatty. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate any help that you guys give. Even if it's just best wishes, we really, really appreciate it. You also will find links to Orion's Instagram so you can see a service dog journey from when he was a wee little pup as well as our Patreon. Patreon is an exclusive behind the scenes content that we give and we even offer one-on-one -on -one Skype sessions with us, the Raw Life family. If that is something you're interested in, guys, check the link in the description below. So guys, we do have a fun event coming up. It is the Baby Shower Live. We're gonna be opening all the gifts in front of you guys. Yes, we still have not opened them. They're stored. Yeah, there's probably over 100 packages. I am intimidated. Yep. And I'm excited to talk to you guys one-on-one. -on -one. It's gonna be fun and exciting. Well, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is where we're gonna take it chill. Well, I have to take it chill. Paul still has to go to work. I have to go to work right now, and I have a private investigation thing, and uh, surveillance that I have to go do today. Yeah, so yep. it is still a little bit of a busy day, guys. So for now, adieu and goodbye.